Good evening. Good evening. We do like a nice polite audience. I suppose I should deal with the first issue straight away. I am a little bit posh. Like one of the other acts, I, um, I do sometimes get a little bit of trouble with my accent. One time at a gig, this bloke shouted out from the back. He said, you up there? You're a middle class tosser. <laughs> yes, I share your shock and indignation. I am, of course, upper middle class. <laughs> So, um, yes, the, uh, the, the whole posh business is a little bit tricky. I, I, I must say I do have some things in common with, uh, with working class people, or to use the correct political term, people of restricted taste. I mean, I do like the working classes. I, I actually have a sofa in my front garden. <laughs> Admittedly, it is in the summer house. Yeah. And it's so important. Feel the heat, feel the heat. But another thing I have in common with, uh, with people of that sort of class, um, I actually have a rather a lot of children. Yes, I, I have six children. <laughs> sympathy now, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a ridiculous number of children they have. We sort of carried on having kids in the hope that one day we'd get one that we liked. But, uh, <laughs> Enjoy so far, but, uh, but I'm, I'm sure many of you have, have children. Uh, children are, are bring a joy to my life, I, I must say. I suppose the, the child at the moment who's giving me the most trouble would be my, my 18 year old daughter. Yes, you can understand the sorts of issues when you have a girl of that sort of thing. But not quite what you're thinking. My trouble with her is she seems to think it's funny that I'm getting a little bit older. And I tell you, with kids of that age, you must fight back. It's the only way. The other day, I found a grey hair. And I plucked it out. Could you just put your hand out? And I went to her. And I said, look, that there is my first grey hair. She went, ha, 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 from my pubes. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I mean, that's perfectly, perfectly sensible. <laughs> it did sadly make an age girl go cry. <laughs> some, some of you gentlemen may have done yourselves as well. I, I really don't know. But uh, children, I mean, there's one thing. Uh, pop your hand up if you've got kids. Who has got kids? Have you, you all got kids? How many kids have you got now? You've got three, there you go. Now, how many have you got? Two? Okay, don't worry, we're not being competitive or anything. That's <laughs> if you are being competitive, I win anyway, don't I? So that's, that's fine. May, may I ask um, ages and names of your kids? Um, identical twins. Oh. Same age. Well, they, they would be. <laughs> how long does it take me to work this out? For <laughs> may I ask their names? <laughs> Joss and Neil. Lovely. Joss and Neil. I, I must say, when you have six children, two does seem a, a very sensible number. But if you had to choose just one, which would you say was your favourite? <laughs> it's Joss, isn't it? You know it's Joss. No, she's not going to deny it. I, I have other, other children as well. I have, um, I have a 12-year-old boy. He's one of these super sporty lads. Just not very bright. <laughs> super sporty, not very bright. Technical term is actually boy. That's how, that's how they function. And back in what we laughably call the summer, he was, uh, he was out in the garden, storming around with his chums, having a wonderful time, playing soccer. And, well, frankly, he got caught short, desperate for the toilet, didn't know quite what to do. And I really don't mind, I'm broad-minded, having my little lad having a pee in the bushes. Obviously wasn't quite so keen on the dump on the patio. <laughs> Next to the barbecue. <laughs> Cooking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Still, he's giving a chance to use bone tongs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if I put that drink there, <laughs> she won't be able to drink. It's only mine. It's only play. It's, 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 it's okay. So what else are we talking about? Have we got any mothers in the house tonight? Just give us a cheer for a mother. Yeah. Yeah, plenty of mothers. But do we have any mothers who can tell a joke? <laughs> this, is, this is an interesting thing, isn't it? Mothers, for some reason, can't tell jokes. Women are terribly funny. But when they become a mother, something goes a little bit wrong. I'll give you an example of my own mother. She likes to tell me jokes before a gig. She, she loves the idea. She, she told me one which is a terrible, hoary old thing. You'll know it. It's about the two prawns. One's called Duncan, one's called Christian. And I'll just rattle straight through it. Um, Duncan gets turned into a, into a shark. So he's terrorizing everybody. Christian won't let him back into the house. He comes back, he knocks on the door. He won't let him in. He says, don't worry, it's OK. I'm a prawn again, Christian. But, <laughs> No, in itself, it is not very amusing. <laughs> but in the hands of my mother, it's altogether different. When she tells me the joke, I know the punchline, I know when I have to laugh. But she neglects to mention that there is a character called Christian. <laughs> <laughs> well, still, 
she doesn't mention that they are prawns. <laughs> so I have to laugh. I have to laugh because this is my mother, and I have to laugh at the wonderful punchline. Don't worry, it's okay. I'm a shrimp again, Duncan. <laughs> yes, and I love She's safe out by herself. Now, I mean, we, I, I'm only doing a very short set tonight, but we do need to... <laughs> Thank you.